Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to that one awkward guy. Today we're going to be continuing our series on Hearts of Iron 4 with the USA States mod as Texas. In the last episode we, well, we didn't really do too much. We did conquer uh, New Mexico and that was that was pretty much it. We kind of we went down our focus tree a little bit and yeah we're now getting into the really interesting stuff where we can start conquering all the all the things and have some fun. Uh, California is likely going to be the biggest issue. They already have um, an army larger than me and an air force roughly equivalent to me plus a navy but I'm not really building a navy because it doesn't matter too much. Um, we have more manpower though so that's a win. What are they? Are they communist? Oh they're fascist. Okay that's I forgot about that. That's actually pretty good for us. That means they're probably not going to target us right away. So that's a win for sure. Uh, anyway though, let's go ahead and unpause. And yeah, so are we actually recruiting any troops right now? We are. Good. We want to get out as many divisions as we can. Of course, reinforcements still has the priority uh, for all production. Regarding production, how are we doing? We're doing decent, but we do need that rubber. Am I building rubber? I am soon. Wonderful. So we are going to have two more factories. I think I'd like to go boom. You know, yeah, frankly, I think that's an alright setup for now because we have one more build. Two more building, actually. Um, hmm. If that's the case, I'm going to keep motorized where it is, I think, still. So yeah, there we go. That works. And we could move ourselves up to extensive conscription. Still no reason to. We haven't even mobilized fully yet. Um, we still have quite a bit to go, so I'm not going to bother with that. And there is our justification. No factions. Good. And, oh, someone told me in the comments. Yes, okay. So there is a general here, General... John Wilson and we do have a field marshal field marshal Alex Jones it's just that they don't have portraits so they they are there they do exist they just for whatever reason I don't know why the game didn't put them in with a portrait but whatever doesn't matter okay so we're gonna push in there's construction too that's good let's get the resources because now as we conquer these states we're going to be getting more resources and we're certainly going to want uh, to be able to get as much out of it as we can because we're soon going to become that country that everybody needs to trade with because we're going to have a monopoly on once we take uh, California most of the oil um, available in the game because there is no rest of the world to trade with let's actually look at that resources so short of synthetic, yeah, once we get California, there's a few states left, Colorado, uh, Kansas, Louisiana, looks like uh, Oklahoma a little bit. Um, yeah, they still are producing oil, which actually a little bit more than I thought, to be honest. But yeah, actually Michigan's got some synthetic going, I think, because eight is an interesting number um, to be natural, or a natural oil supply, so... Mm, oh, this... Okay, a little bit there, but yeah, once we kind of get California and we start taking more, we're going to have most of the oil, so that's going to be pretty good for us. Alright, so next, we're not going to take on California yet. We're going to go Colorado first. Though, any new divisions I get are going to go on Colorado's border. Or, sorry, Colorado's border. On California's border, because I do want to hold that river, and I don't think they'll declare war on us, but I don't trust them either. Not fully. Because of that, I am actually going to put getting these units deployed as our top priority. And there's our air doctrine we're going down. I can get both of these, right? Yeah. Just in case I can only get one, I'll take ground support. Oh, we got two more factories. Oh, yeah, I think I finished a national focus. Uh... Well, we need support equipment, and we need motorized, so let's do that. And apparently we don't need to trade for steel anymore. Any rubber yet? No, no rubber on the market. Wow, we have so much oil. I just saw that. 
That's crazy. We do not need to build silos, that's for sure. Uh, not that I think we'll be ever running enough planes to uh, really make a difference regardless of how much oil we have. Because like I said, navy is what really eats up your fuel. And there's another. They, that, that's our last one, yeah. Okay, so the last one... Hmm. We have good artillery stockpile. You know, let's throw the last one on the fighters. And as for synthetic refineries... Ah, oh, they've used all their space. Darn. Alright, let's throw another one there, because we're going to need more than this at the end of the day. So they have used all of their space here, which is unfortunate. Oh, there we go. New divisions are deploying. Let's get them on California's border. And attach them to the field marshal. And I can declare war. I'm going to wait. And the reason that I'm going to wait is I know if I declare war in Colorado, there's a fair chance that California, if I declare war in Col Colorado, California might faction up with them because they're both fascists. So just now, because world tension's a little higher, I don't want to take the risk. We'll do this while we wait to get those extra troops because once we get troops on the border, we have a river and we can probably um, take air superiority if need be. Uh, we have a lot of airports there, and I think we're building planes a little bit faster than them as well. Uh, oops, this is what I need. Global war goal, so how long will that last us? That's just there indefinitely. Okay. So, like I said, won't be too long. We already almost have all of the divisions out. I just want them all uh, deployed and ready to go. Also going to relocate the Air Force there. And have them priority... Or have them deployed as is, or maybe even air training. We might as well. Yeah, I'm going to have them on air training. Because I'd like them to get a little bit higher level. If at all possible. And what, we got one more? Let's actually even add another one, because I want an even ten. Perfect. Um, but yeah, we'll get them on air training so that way they don't have any debuffs, and we're producing, I think, more than enough a day that it's going to be fine. We shouldn't, yeah, we're still gaining, so we're all right. Excavation there, awesome. Don't need that, but I do want that. Free civilian factories. Well, I'm going to want infrastructure level ups everywhere. That's going to be important, because I think we are going to run into attrition eventually in all of these hills, the more units we get, so. Wow, we ate through those. Oh, wow, I'm just realizing we have, we have plus 40% right now. I'm starting to feel like Texas is a little overpowered here, guys. And I'm not complaining. I, I like Texas, but, um... Is California's buffs these this good? I feel like it's definitely not. And I think they have their own focus tree as well. Actually, looking at it, I don't think they do. They don't. Oh. Well, I know New York has one, and theirs doesn't look this awesome. But you know what? Well, who cares? Go Texas. Let's go. Texas has a good focus tree. I'm alright. I'll play them in the next one, see if their focus tree... Maybe it measures up. I'm not really paying attention to New York. Uh, maybe they're actually... Do oh my god. Okay, I spoke too soon. New York also has a good focus tree. They have a they have a few divisions. Am I at least winning? I'm I'm winning in Air Force though, and that's what counts. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and let's just get this last um, industry build up the Texan industry as much as possible. Um, yeah. So let's just take Colorado. Push to Denver. Ooh, they're actually holding us up. No, they're 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 kind of holding us back. Maybe a little bit. Okay, just just get to Denver. Oh wow! You know what? We're gonna have to reallocate the Air Force. Looks like. Um, because we're not winning. I mean, it's not that we really are lacking troops or anything. It's just a matter of uh. Come on, just take Denver and they'll capitulate. They have all these uh, hills and mountain terrains. Come on, just take it. What is this territory? This is... I've forgotten how to check. So yeah, mountain, mountain, all over. So if we take that, it should 
do it. Otherwise, I've lost a division. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's surrounded. Let's try to get him unencircled. Can you guys just win that, please? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He is... Okay, let's... That division's gone. That's fine. We will deal with it by taking one of theirs. And by ordering up another one. Nope. Finish this. Okay. There we go. Get back up on the line. That's alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I, I kind of thought we would get there. I didn't think they'd be able to catch up to us in time. But I'm not too concerned. I think we'll be okay. And we are still lacking on support equipment, so let's throw that extra factory over there. Do have air superiority. There's economic powers. I guess we might as well pick up our next uh, justification. This one's on Utah. Okay. Look. You guys push there. And then we can start surrounding divisions rather than just... I'm going macro, to uh, micro this at this point, honestly. So you're going to go like this. And then we can surround a division and destroy it. And also probably win in the process. Actually, no, because we still need to take... Nope. Nope, we did win. All right, tech all states. All right, unfortunately, we had to lose a uh, division for that, but it's okay. So next, I think it was Utah that I said. Also, I haven't given this guy a general. We have lots of political power, so let's go ahead and do that. I kind of want to actually start deploying some new divisions soon. Another... You know what, maybe we can even upgrade these divisions a bit more. Recon company. This has never been my strength, division designing. You know what, I'm not sure how great recon company is. So it gives us stuff, what does it take away? So it takes more equipment, that's fine. And it increases its supply use and it lowers its organization slightly. But it kind of makes everything else a little bit better. Actually, a decent amount better. Okay, you know what? That seems worth it. So let's add that. And maybe at some point I should uh, develop a tank division. Once I research heavy tanks, I'm not going to bother with light tanks. Wow, I've not paid attention to my research. I've done. Okay. Um, what do I want to do? Integrated. So soft attack or recovery rate and soft attack. It's just a lot of soft attack. You know what? Let's take a lot of soft attack. Um, can I do that? Yep. Let's get the let's get some heavy tanks and I'll you know what? I'll look into it. I'll see what's a good template for a tank and infantry division. I'll actually do the right thing and not guess. Why am I getting? I am not building these factories. I'm conquering them. I just kind of assumed that every other country or every other state would be like me and start with no military factories. And even with all of our synthetic, we're still lacking. But it's good, because now we have some more space. So that is good. Um, yeah. And for structure, okay. Who do I say? You know what? I guess California is kind of the uh, the bigger threat right now. So we'll put that on the border. Because I don't know. I'm still a little nervous. I don't know what California is going to do. No factions have formed. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm starting to get a little worried that the AI isn't going to do anything here. We'll see once world tension gets higher. Oh. No, that's just a base event. I don't know. Maybe this isn't meant to be played. I mean, the option's there, so I assumed it would do, they would all do stuff. Nobody's really doing anything. I guess it is still early, so we'll see. Let's go ahead and grab Silver Empire. I think that's... Yeah, Nevada. Alright, so let's conquer that. Let's get Utah. 
Also, can I put them back on air training? There we go. And, oh, did I not? I didn't even give them an offensive line. Ugh. All right, let's go. How goes this? It's going. This is much easier. They don't really have a lot of divisions, clearly. Is it too late? I don't know. I, I'm wondering why. I feel like somebody should have created a faction by now. Not really sure what's going on in that regard. Okay, so that's another win. So now we're about to increase our border. You know, at this point, what I'm who's the more experienced general? Who's better? Okay, this guy. So now what we're gonna do is we're just going to push all across because this is going to increase our border with California considerably. We have a spare division here. Oops, come on. Okay, so I also want to figure out so what are we gonna do? We're gonna do four and then I'd like another actual you know, get ready for another full 24 uh, divisions. And surprisingly, we have almost enough equipment for that. So I'm trying to get, like, two full 24 uh, divisions before I even think about going to war with California. So we're winning on the war goal now. Got a research slot here. Artillery, still a little bit away. Uh, planes are still a bit away. That's going... Let's get maybe logistics convoy could be good. Maintenance. Maintenance would probably be good for the tanks, I would assume. So let's pick that up. And they had a lot of military factories. Uh, I'm not going to build tanks yet, like I said. Not much purpose. I will start building strap bombers, though. Well, you know what? I'll actually assign a lot on them because they do tend to be expensive. I'm going to want them eventually to start wearing down the enemy. So after this, we can look at... Uh, California, and we're pretty much done with the focus tree after that. There's not much else we can do. Because the, uh, there's, there's no Mexico, right? So this doesn't really give us anything. And after that, I guess we'll just do one of these. There's the Silver State. Let's take it. Should, you know, what are you doing? Just go for it. They have like one VP city. And, oh no, they got one. They got Northwest Nevada. Let's take it. And that'll do it, right? Apparently not. Come on. What, what, what are they holding on to here? They have no more cities. There we go. Take all states. Alright. So now we will get troops on the border against California, who does outnumber us. They've been producing uh, troops quite a bit faster than we have, it seems. We have a lot um, waiting to deploy pretty soon, so we have to get ready. Alright, so I guess... 70 days, let's go. I hope me having Orgle won't cause them to just declare war on me. That would be quite sad. But, should be okay. And are we still, yep, we're still getting these synthetic refineries, so that's good. Uh, heavy twos, don't need those yet. Let's get improved rubber. What are we missing? All rubber, 100%. Nothing here, that's good. I guess we could start spending. Is there anything? I guess we could do this, but we're not really at a building slots yet, so I'll just stockpile political power for no reason. Alright. Let's build that there. And for the rest of this, I really should build at least one dockyard so I can produce convoys in case I need them. Um, and infrastructure. Other than that, let's... Uh, Let's kind of, on all these areas of resources and the border territories, I guess I might as well just max infrastructure this area. We need something to build. We're running out of space to really build much of anything else. So yeah, there we go. Oh, missed the oil. Cool. 
All right, so now we're just waiting on these divisions to deploy. How are they doing on manpower? Okay, so they're not doing terrible, but considering they're on extensive conscription and I'm unlimited, you can tell their uh, focus isn't quite as good as ours is. I, I wonder if they haven't done military youth yet, because that's what gives you uh, the 2%. How goes our... Okay, so we can actually afford now to get two new air wings. So let's get that, and let's get that, and standard. Let's bring them up to 200. And put these guys now, take these guys off. Put these guys on air training. Wait for them to deploy here. Have they deployed? I can't even tell. I think they have. Well, they seem to be training, so it's all good. Alright, and that's the last useful national focus we can take. So, construction engineering, considering we're working on the uh, infrastructure, might not be bad. This is probably smarter, though, because we don't really have a lot of rubber and we're trying to outproduce California for planes. Currently, we are, quite easily. But that could change if they start invading countries and getting other stuff. And we also have to worry about New York, who is being scary as well. Because their force is a bit bigger. And all these countries are... are I see, keep saying countries, I guess I mean states. You can even see Louisiana, they're all building up air forces. And if they do at some point decide to faction up, um, I want to be ready to battle all of their air forces. Let's get research speed. Missing a division. Ah, here we go. Boom. Boom. And let's delete this and remake the front line. And now what I want is another 12 divisions. And you know what? I'm gonna even go, I'm gonna push this. Let's just get armies of infantry right now. So we can get 16. Where all we're missing is support equipment. Which we're now producing quite quickly, thanks to the extra factories I put on it. And rubber production's going decently. We still got another one coming out, plus research in the works. So that should work out just fine, and that's another air doctrine there. Let's get this. Some more naval mission efficiency, even though we're not really going to need it. And I want our one thing here to build convoys indefinitely. <clears throat> And you're actually going to need a general now, so, yep. Wow, I feel like we've expanded a little too quickly. This might just end up being a conquer everything in five or six episodes, because like, I kind of expected that, you know, there would be factions, and right, and wars being declared on me, but I don't know. Maybe next time I'll try it with the rest of the world. That could make things, <clears throat> excuse me, um, more interesting. Now we have even more oil. Oh, uh, we're going to get over 2,000, I think, when we take California. And we are just getting through all of this stuff so quickly, all of this infrastructure. Might as well just order a max infrastructure everywhere at this rate. Just so I don't need to deal with the attrition. So we have somewhere plus 30. I thought it was plus 40. Maybe it was just plus 40 with the factories. Let's get that. And we have stopped mobilizing. Oh, we did make it over 3k. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. How are you falling ill? You're just sitting there. Don't be don't fall ill. What if we get attacked? Alright, deploy these guys right here. Field Hospital 2 is awesome. Oh, I already had a place to deploy them. That's alright. How are we doing? Alright, almost got all the support equipment through. And we have industry that I've kind of been neglecting. Let's get that industry research. And we're maxed out on planes here. So we got another air base here. So what we're going to do is... I'm just going to go... Just for my own sake, I guess I could split the air wings, that might make this what I'm about to do easier, but I'm just going to make four air wings, rather than, I guess, splitting them later, we're just going to do this. 
and it'll filter into them equally, whatever we produce. Which now we are up to a plane a day on each of these and soon to be a plane a day hopefully on strap bombers once we get the necessary rubber. I thought I gave you a place to deploy. There we go. So that should allow us to even get the rest of the divisions we needed for uh, these guys. So they have 16 and they need 24. So once these guys deploy I think we'll be okay to well, you know, declare war. Wait, what the heck? Why do we have these? Am I missing something? Some units already deploy. Okay, we have 24, and then what we have... If we exit this out, we got 12. Okay, so we really only need 12 of these guys. Actually, don't cancel them. Cancel these guys. Okay. Oh, yeah, so some of them did deploy. I just added a ton more. Uh, probably because this is on unlimited, so they all just reset. Okay. So once these guys deploy, I think we'll be uh, ready to declare war on California. And what are we, we got undeployed? I'll deploy them all once they're ready. Uh, rubber, still a problem, but that's okay. And I also realized I didn't set these guys on to air training pilot exercises so right now if you check they have a small debuff whereas the guys who I've trained have a small buff and that's pretty good I'm starting to think I might switch off air production soon because I don't know they don't clearly California isn't focusing on air power and once I take them I'll have the industry to outproduce New York easily so right now, New York and I are actually, New York has a lot more, not a lot more, but some more mills than me, but not a lot more civilian factories. I am easily outdoing them on civilian factories. I can produce anything I want very quickly. I'd convert some over, but really my production's pretty okay. I'm producing everything as fast as I really care to. And everything I don't produce fast enough, I just conquer more factories and produce with those. And I forgot about this research, didn't I? Let's grab that other industrial focus. And what about divisions? How are they doing on divisions? Because I think they'll probably have more divisions because they're mass producing them, yeah. Well, maybe not actually once we deploy these extra ones. But our uh, advantage in planes should be able to easily negate that. Advanced machine tools, naval strike tactics. Get me construction and get me this is mutually exclusive, so mm, I would rather air superiority. Interception's good, but I'll really only use interception in my own territory, and I can just build uh, anti-air guns, and that I, that'll not intercept necessarily, but it'll even out when you consider how many planes you'll end up killing that way. Come on, last few, get them deployed. Want to start this war? Right, no more infrastructure to do. I guess I said I'd do it. I might as well do it. Anti-air. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Try try to launch any kind of strategic bombers over our territory. I dare ya. It'll go great, I promise. I get radar, but really not super useful right now. So... Oh, I think I just heard them deploy. Awesome. Alright, so get these guys off and deploy everybody here. Give you a new general. And delete this line here. And create a new one. Oh, I didn't assign him to the thing. And delete it again. There we go. And we should have max infrastructure, so everybody should... They're getting some attrition while they're moving, but otherwise they should be okay. See, I don't know why you have 15 divisions right here. Move them. Okay, they just are really dead set on suffering attrition. Okay, well... That's gonna be a problem. I can build transport planes and give them air supply. 
Um, but I think the better solution is just to, uh, well, you know, do this. But we are, as I declare that war, almost exactly at 30 minutes. So, before we see how this war will actually go, it'll give us a battle plan. Um, you guys are going to have to wait, sadly. Um, the next video will be up in about two or so days. Um, as you probably know by now, my schedule is going to be uh, Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, Star Wars Empire War and then Napoleon Total War um, and I once I finish campaigns I might switch one out do another game do another of Hearts of Iron whatever uh, leave in the comments below what you want to see more of and I'll record more of that game but I would like to thank you all for watching if you did enjoy don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next episode bye for now